So once you get the plugin installed, the next step could be to configure the first steps. So you could go to Canva Color, Images, and then you need to set up the API keys for Pixabay and Flickr. You always have links to where you have to get it, here for Pixabay, here for Flickr, and then you have to select which image sources you'd like to use, and you can reorder them by priority. Okay, so once everything is set up and in place, you save all the changes and you're good to go. And then when you go to the post editor, you say we're going to add a new post. I'm going to call it um, by this one. You will see there's a new button here for Kampakala. So if you click on it, you will get this, the image editor. And then you can select the source for your image. You can search free images online. You can upload your own image. You can pick one from the WordPress gallery or just enter the URL here. So in this case, we're going to search for a free image of a cat, for example. Before you search, you can select any filters if you want the float photo or clip art, you want attribution required or not, or select the sources for the images. And if you want, you can select all the images that can be modified. So if we select this picture, for example, we can first SEO the image by entering a file name, a title, caption, alt text, etc. And if you click on edit image, you will arrive into the image editor. Here we have several options. We have crop. If you want to crop the image, just click on start crop. Then you decide the crop area here by moving it around, it's a little bit bigger. And once you're done, click on crop. So you get just the part of the image you want. You can resize the image just by dragging this slider here. You can apply some special effects just by selecting which effect you like. We have already artistic effects here. You can apply manual effects to the image. Let's, we're going to restore the original image so you can see the effect. You can blur the image, make it a little bit blurry. You set how, how much you want it. Restore it again. You can change the brightness, the contrast. You can make it more noise. You can pixelate it if you like and any settings here. Next, if you want, you can add a border to it. You select the color, the width, just make it a bit thicker and apply. You can make it a different style if you want as well. You can add any text on the image. You select the text. Then you select the font family here you want. You select the color. Set the border color, you can change the size for the text. Let's make it 55. You can make it bold, italic, etc. You can move it around on screen, wherever you want. Next, you can add an image on top of it. Let's look for a sample design in this case. Let's select this one, click on insert. So we get that on top of the image. We can move it around anywhere we want, we can resize it however we want. You can add a shape on top of it. We want to make an ellipse. The line is going to be green and the field is going to be yellow here. Okay. So we start drawing and just drag and drop move it around on screen. You can always move it. You can add free draw here. If you just click on start drawing, you can start drawing. And here's where the line system comes in place. Let's say we want the image on top, so we move it on top. So now the image is on top. If you want the text on top, you bring it on top. You decide where it's going to be. Okay, so once you're done, you can insert the image. We will insert it in the post. You can download the image, which will download it to your computer, or save it to WordPress Gallery for later. In this case, we want to insert it. And sure enough, here's our image. Thank you very much for listening.